Asola, the most expensive thing in animal husbandry is animal feed. If all type of livestock such as cattle, goat and poultry are to be profitable, the cost of fodder must be reduced. The best solution for this is Asola. The benefits of Asola which is nutritious, easy to produce and doubles up in 3 days are worth thousands of rupees. Often found in green or light brown color. A plant belonging to the family of fern also known as camel algae, ear ring or nostril algae, nose ring as per its look. Asola was initially grown in paddy fields as a fertilizer for paddy for the first time. Vehananda Kendra introduced a tank method to reduce the cost of production. Laying bricks in a row 3 meter long and 2 meter wide in this shape creates tank like structure. Spread old plastic sacks inside it and spread a silpolene sheet on it. Spread 25 kg of fertile soil on it. Any red or black soil will do. Dissolve 1 kg of cow dung and 20 grams of asophet which is rock phosphate and micronutrient fertilizer in water. Pour 10 cm water inside the tank along with cow dung slurry and asophet. Spread 500 gram of asola on the surface of water. Asola will become double in 3 days in the optimum condition. Asola can be harvested after 1 week. Daily harvest can be half a kilo to 1 kilo. Always try to harvest 2 third and leave 1 third balance in the bed. During rainy season, there is a danger of asola seed washing away. It can be prevented by giving proper slope on the side and providing net to arrest the asola seed. In addition, do the following. Dissolve 500 gram of dung and 10 gram of asophet once in a week and spray it in the asola tank. This will help in uniform growth. Also, once in a month, remove some soil and add fresh soil for optimum growth. Please ensure Minimum water level of 7 to 10 cm. Asola can be harvested daily up to 6 months. In 6 months, the bed becomes oversaturated with nitrogen. The bottom soil can be removed and used as a fertilizer. After 6 months, change the entire bed and water and start afresh. A few precautions. Asola tank should not be set up in the direct sunlight. Asola grows best when the temperature is between 25 and 31 degrees Celsius. As the temperature rises, the growth slows down and the color turns brown. If necessary, shade net can be used. Varieties of shade nets are available in the market such as 25%, 50%, 75%, etc. While harvesting asola, shake water table like caressing the child. It helps in multiple ways such as getting more oxygen, uniform spread of asola and fertilizer etc. When growing asola to feed livestock, no pesticide should be used in the tank. The cost of production comes to 75 paise to 1 rupee per kilo. Composition of asola Asola contains 25 to 30 percentage of protein, 10 to 15 percentage of amino acid, 90 to 92 percentage of water, vitamin A, vitamin B12, beta carotene, calcium, phosphorus, potassium, iron, copper and magnesium. It is very low in fat and carbohydrates. How to feed to the cattle? Harvested asola have cow dung smell, so it should be washed 4 to 5 times and given to the cattle.
can be mixed with bran or any cow feed. Feeding 2 kg of asola to a cow increases milk yield by 15 to 20 percentage. This happens because of synergy. It also helps in improving the milk quality, solid non-fat and thus the farmers get extra money. Physical health of the cow improves. The use of commercial fodder can be reduced up to 30 percentage if necessary or asola can be used as an additional supplement. Start feeding asola gradually to the cow say 200 to 300 gram and then increase up to 2 kilos. Feeding asola to poultry, goats etc. Feeding asola directly to the chicken increases the quality and number of eggs. It improves the immunity of the chicken. Goats also enjoy eating ashola. It helps in improving the health of the goat as well as milk production. Add ashola to salt and giving it to pigs will increase weight and improve the quality of the meat. Ashola is equally good for rearing commercial fishes as feeding ashola increases the weight of the fish. In short, ashola is good for everybody right from rabbit to elephant. Asola and paddy When the asola plant is grown directly in the paddy field, it collects the nutrients present in the air and give it to the paddy crop. Apply 200 kg of asola per acre of land within a week of planting paddy. It grows well in 25 days and spread all over the land. In the process it controls weed. In addition, water evaporation will be prevented. Since it is a micro fertilizer, the cost of fertilizer will be reduced by 30%. We can go on and on explaining the glory of Asola. It has multidimensional utility and thus it is an elixir for farmers. Experiences Hello everyone, I am Baldi Amal. This year I have sprayed asola in my one acre paddy feed. To my surprise, not only the yield is more, but also no trouble of feeds and removing it every now and then. Thank you for watching. For more details, please contact Vivekananda Kendra Nardep Kanyakumari 629702